Salutes, salutes, what's poppin'? Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. I am your host, Big Fruit. The Michael Jordan of recording early in the morning. Whew. Y'all see the title, peoples. My story of Boo Beer, Brownsville's finest. I'm sliding this in with the LG stories simply because today is Throwback Thursday. And we're going to throw it back with the cuzzle. We're going to throw it back with Boo Beer. I've been screaming and hollering. I'm going to do this Boo Beer story, my story of Boo Beer. I've been hollering that for quite some time now. And now I'm finally going to get it done. You understand what I'm saying? And now that I'm in Brownsville, I want to just say this. Rest in peace to OG Wink. Brownsville, Brooklyn, it's finest. Rest in peace to OG Wink. <clears throat> I just wanted to say that. Because we in Brownsville right now with Boo Bear. Boo Bear was Brownsville's finest. And that's the cuzzle. You know what I'm saying? So rest in peace to Boo Bear. Rest in peace to the cuzzle. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the cuzzle... The cuzzle was different. The cuzzle was Brownsville to the heart. He was Brooklyn to the heart. You understand what I'm saying? He passed away in the feds. I found out in 99 to be exact. The homie Jonah, rest in peace, out of Albany Project. Jonah pulled up at my job in the library in Attica and was like, yo, Sean, yo, ah, ooh, ooh, because Jonah used to fuck with Cuzzo hard. Cuzzo was doing some things out in Albany Projects. And if you ask me, Albany Projects is kind of what led to his Fed case. You understand what I'm saying? But when he caught his Fed case, and he was out there in Albany Rock and the homie Jonah used to fuck with him. So Jonah enlightened me that he passed away in 99. I didn't even know. But prior to that, him and my pops was together in a spot. But I'm going to talk about all that. But my story with Boo Bear, first and foremost, I'm going to crack a brand new bottle for Cuzzle. I'm going to crack a brand new bottle for Cuzzle. <laughs> no question. Yeah, I be getting my sip on, Sean. Niggas be like, yo, that nigga's an alcoholic. Nah, Sean. I don't, I don't drink other than on YouTube. <laughs> if I ain't on YouTube, I don't, I'm not drinking. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we go out. I barely drink when we out. One of us got to be on point. Sometimes wifey don't feel like driving, so I got to do the driving. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be drinking. But only time y'all see me drinking is here on YouTube. So don't think the boy is an alky. Nah, but I get my sip on it. Today I'm going to get my sip on for the cuzzle. You know what I'm saying? Word the mother. But anyway, my story of Boo Beer goes back to the early, early 80s. I'm talking maybe, I'm talking maybe 83, 84. Yeah, about 83, 84. Because I got, I, got, I got family in Howard Project. Shout out to my cousin Sab, Sab Warfare. You know what I'm saying? And my cousin Derek, D Nasty. You know what I'm saying? I had two older cousins that grew up in Brownsville. And my cousin December, their little sister. You know what I'm saying? They grew up in, uh, what was that? 60 Glenmore. You know what I'm saying? Howard Projects. And I would always go to Howard Projects to visit them. You know what I'm saying? My aunt was doing well for herself, working for transit. She always told my grandmother, you need to break some fruit to Brownsville. So I would come to Brownsville because I had those Brownsville roots. So I would come to Brownsville and I would stay in Howard Projects for Christmas and shit like that. Easter vacation, Christmas vacation. And at the time, if I recall correctly, my aunt was dating a dude named Spider. <laughs> if you know Spider, Spider did karate at the uh, the uh, community center or the PAL or some shit like that in Howard Project. And my cousins Derek and Sab, them niggas was nice with it. Them niggas was winning all types of belts, all types of trophies. And Boo Bear used to be in that shit too. So he was kind of nice on his feet. Don't sleep. Boo Bear knew a little karate. You know what I'm saying? Worked the mother. When they was kids, they was fucking with Spider and shit. So I was coming through as a kid. So it was always my cousins, Derek, Sab, Boo Bear, Water Bear, Darren. That was their little crew. So they was always family to me. You know what I'm saying? If I wasn't in Brownsville at, at 60 Glenmore with all them niggas, them niggas was coming to LG with my cousin Sab and Derek. And them niggas knew my grandmama well. So them niggas was family to me. So Boo Bear is family. Real talk. And, uh... 
I used to always come through in the early 80s, man. And at that time, not only was they playing karate, but my cousins Derek and Boo Bear was shaking it up crazy on the ball court. Yeah, Boo Bear was nice with it. He was, if I'm not mistaken, Boo Bear was playing at Wingate High School. He was getting busy in Wingate. And he was playing for the BRC, the Brownsville Recreation Center, shaking that shit up. But you know what? Booger might have put soul in the hole on the map. But Boo Bear, my cousin D Nasty, them niggas was in soul in the hole in the early 80s. By the time Booger was shaking that shit up, niggas was in the fed somewhere doing time. But Boo Bear was in soul in the hole doing what he do. I remember that shit as a kid. Running behind my cousin, because I'm a basketball dude. You understand what I'm saying? And speaking of basketball and speaking of booger, y'all stay tuned because that Ali Johnson story coming up next when I go back to the LG story. And Ali was the truth. But anyway, I was running behind my cousin Derek and Boo Bear and them niggas trying to play ball anywhere they play ball, watching them play ball. Any So I was there for Boo Bear sold in the hole. Boo Bear, the BRC. I was there for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Word of mother. I was there for that. And then I have to say, man, I stopped going out there to Brownsville like 85, 86. Now I'm ripping and running the streets. Grandmoms can't get me to do nothing she asked me to do. So I ain't going nowhere for no summer vacation. I ain't going nowhere for no Christmas vacation. I'm in the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I stopped going to Brownsville like that. But I remember. I, I remember this shit vividly. We was a bunch of little niggas in LG running around bed stop doing bad shit. It was 87 summer, right before I caught my case, and it was right before Ali died. Rest in peace, because Ali died right at the top of the summer. So this is the top of the summer in 87. It's, so, it's funny how I'm Boo Bear's story is a segue into Ali's story. Ball players, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, rest in peace, Ali Johnson. And rest in peace, Boo Beard. But it was the top, it was like the spring top of the summer. We was running around bed style, but we kept walking the streets. And we ended up like, I want to say in the heights, towards Brownsville, ripping and running the streets. And I never forget. We was a bunch of little niggas walking down the side block. And it was two dudes on a brownstone with some chicks. And one of the dudes was crazy, crazy heavy. I'm talking 87 Shummer heavy. Like, you know what it was to be Rock Him like heavy, 87 Shummer? And we all looking like, oh shit, yo, that nigga crazy heavy. That's what we say back in the day. Yo, that nigga crazy heavy on the jewels. And when I made eye contact with that nigga, it was Boo Bear. He said, Fruit. <laughs> he said, Cousin, come here. I said, oh shit. Everybody was like, yo, you know him, you know him. I was like, yeah. I walked over there. He was like, yo, what you doing around here? I was like, yo, we just ripping it, running. He was like, yo, get your little ass back to LG, man. You bug it. He gave me a couple of dollars, and we peeled up out of there. Now, I ain't see Boo Bear no more from that day. That was 87. Spring, going into the summer. I ain't see Boo Bear no more from that day till 89 summer. Now, that's 89 summer. 89 summer was hot. New York City was on fire, but LG alone, it was a hot one. And Tawana had LG ringing because she, she was bringing Nicky Barnes through, rest in peace, Nick. And his right hand man was Bull Bear. So they coming through LG, trucked up, heavy on the jewels, polite them niggas coming through LG at the time, wise and them niggas posted up. LG was on fire. So when you was coming through LG, you had to be right. And showing up, Boo Bear and them niggas used to come through right. But unbeknownst to me, like I told you, when they was coming to LG since the 80s, Boo Bear, Water Bed, my cousin Darren, all the niggas, I didn't know Water Bed introduced Wise to Boo Bear back in the days. I never knew that. So we sitting on the bench 89 summer. Back in the projects, Wise got this shit jumping. At the time, I'm running around with Wise, ride shotgun in the hoop thing and shit. I didn't smoke weed or nothing like that, but them niggas smoking weed all day on the bench. Other niggas 
black reds and them niggas hand in hand doing what they do. <laughs> we sitting on the bench. Nigga come through with the bike. Big Elite 250. He had one piece of jewelry on, Sean. One piece of jewelry. The biggest fucking cable you could find in the store. <laughs> he had the big shit on with the big anchor on his bike with his helmet on. So niggas is like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga coming through? And the nigga pulled up right dead middle in front of the whole clique. <laughs> pulled off his helmet. It was like, yo, fool, what up? I was like, oh, shit, yo, what up, cuz? And, you know, we on wide set. So I was immediately like, and unbeknownst to me, Boo Bear was like, yo, wise, what up? Wise was like, yo, what up, boo? I was like, oh, shit, yo, you know, cuz. He was like, man, I've been new, Boo Bear. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So it wasn't no smoke. But cuz pulled up dead middle on LG with the big snake on his fucking neck. Yeah, man. Boo Bear was doing his thing out there. And 89 summer. It was either 88 going into 89 before the summer. Nigga up Atlantic Terminals down in Atlantic Terminals way, old rat ass nigga, so he ain't gonna get no name drop from me. But he was getting a little paper. Him and Boo Bear had a class somehow. Boo Bear gave the nigga a bidding. Boo Bear said, fire that ass. So not only did I know my cousin play ball, my cousin hustling and getting money, now I know that nigga gun go off. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, because I really wasn't, I wasn't too familiar with Boo Bear with that gun play. But when I heard he shot this nigga, and this nigga was supposed to be somebody, but that nigga held that shit down and ain't want no smoke. So now I start investigating cuz of his hammer. Niggas like, yeah, boo, boo who he's supposed to be in Brownsville when he get money in, in, in that hammer. Like, boo's out there taking over buildings, taking over blocks, taking over projects. Like, he was on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, boo, boo beer was Brownsville to the heart, Brooklyn to the heart. More real talk. You know what I'm saying? So now, 89, like I told you, they coming through my projects fucking with Tawana. Now, I'm fucking with a little shorty of Notion Avenue. I threw her to Tawana, them, told, her, told Tawana, them, teach her how to get some money. Bad mistake by me, because once I sent her over there, the bitch never came back. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, she over there fucking with them. She all ripping in, in Brownsville and Howard with Tawana, them. Brooklyn Mo get up on her. That's how Brooklyn Mo started trying to teach it to my chick. Long story short, me and Brooklyn Mo meet. We up in Highland together. Boo being them out there doing it. And in DFY, I said this the other night. In DFY, your people used to call you for 10, 15 minutes. And they called Mo one night. And they called Mo to tell Mo that Nick died. Remember, I told you, Nick was the man. Boo, Brooklyn Mo, Peyton, Dorian, all the niggas came up under Nick. You know what I'm saying? Nick was the man. Rest in peace, Nick. When I, yo, you know, Mo, Brooklyn Mo dramatical. Yo, he got that phone call. He started yelling, screaming. Ah, he threw the phone. He kicking shit. Ah, he run to his room. He run back out. Ah, Fred Sanford, heart attack. Nick died. Like, damn, son. So when Nick died, Boo Bear had to turn shit up. Now Boo the man. Boo turned shit up crazy out there. Because Mo went home before me. And when Mo went home, Boo was up. Boo and his man Jimbo. Shout out to Jimbo. That was his guy. Y'all see Boo and Jimbo in the flicks together. That's Boo and Lou and Jimbo bending down. Jimbo crazy heavy. I mean, Boo Bear crazy heavy and Jimbo bending down. But that's also Jimbo with Boo Bear in the feds. Boo Bear caught, I mean, Jimbo caught that bid with Boo Bear. You know what I'm saying? Boo Bear passed away in the prison system. But Jimbo made it home. So shout out to Jimbo. Anyway. When, when when Mo come home in 90, Boo be up. He fucking with Jimbo. And lo and behold, Boo, Mo do some dumb shit. This before Mo start drinking the Henny and all that. Now he drinking beer. <laughs> Mo does the dumb shit. He get drunk. He he got the full fifth llama on him. He playing with the shit. But yo, the, I, shit happens. I didn't shot long distance and fucked around and grazed the nigga. Or I seen a nigga shoot long distance, fuck around and hit somebody. So Mo playing with the hammer with the full fifth llama. He let that shit go. Yo, I got the hammer. Ah, oh, yo, yo, I want to hear it. He bust some shots at the PJH. Long distance. Man, Mo fucked around, threw a shot through blue, blue bear coat. The goose down, feathers flying everywhere. Bullet hit Jimbo in the stomach. <laughs> this nigga Mo done hit Jimbo in the stomach. Jimbo got shit bagging all that shit. This happened as soon as Mo came home. 
So Mo come home. I come home. I ain't last 42 days. I fuck around getting out. I go back up north. And when I go back to do my third juvie, Bull Bear out there doing it. Like I told you, he did it the whole 1990. I did a six-month stint. That's when me and Pretty Boy got down. I did a hot six months. I came home. Boom, I came home at the end of the year. And I never forget. It was the end of 90. No, the top of 90. It was the end of 90 or the top of 91. It had to be like the top of 91. It was a spring day. I was walking down decab. I'll never forget. I had on a pair of shorts, some sneakers, a feline jacket, and a wife beater. I'll never forget. I was going to the store or some shit. I wasn't even dressed in no shit like that. And as I'm walking down decab, the nigga Bull Bear recipe, he had a red light. He had the four door pass, the black shit. I looked. I was like, yo, cousin. He looked. He was like, oh, shit, yo, cousin, what up? Man, I jumped right in, passing the seat. Yo, what up? He was like, yo, I'm on my way downtown. The new Bo Jackson's came out today. You want a pit? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I want a pit. Me and Boo Bear go downtown. We walk through downtown. We hit Dr. J's. He he showed, I didn't even know about the Bo Jackson's. He's, yo, these the new shits, the orange and blue shits. He's the first nigga cop pair. He threw me a pair. We rolled out. And I'll never forget as we walking out of Dr. J's, the nigga tank head for Fort Green. He coming in. So he like, oh shit, yo, fruit. And he stopped in his tracks. Cause you know, Boo Bear, Boo Bear look like money, smelt like money, crazy heavy. He was like, oh shit. I was like, yo, take what up, yo, this is my cousin Boo Bear, yo, Boo Bear, just take it. He was like, yo, what's up? Like, fuck fruit. <laughs> Tankhead was like, oh shit, cause Boo Bear was that nigga. Drug dealer galore. I'm telling you, he was that nigga. So Tankhead was like, oh shit, yo, what up, shit? I was like, yo, ain't nothing, man. Me and my cousin just passed through. We breeze. Now we walking through downtown. This shit played out funny. We walking through downtown, right? I run into one of my little homegirls off of Leffitt's Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's up? Ah, she give me the digits, whatever, boy. Yo, pull up. I'm like, all right. So the nigga Pooh Bear like, yo, you going to see Shorty now? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, I'm going to come get you. All right, fuck it. Pooh Bear picked me up, took me to Shorty crib, picked Shorty up, brung her to LG, and was like, yo, if she need to ride home, I take her home. I was like, nah, we good. What's up with you, man? He like, yo, man, I'm on the run. So I'm like, I'm, I'm playing it low. Like, I don't know the next time you're going to see me, so you better get all you can right now. I was like, nah, you're going to be good. And I, I swear to God, sure, that was the last time I seen him in the street. He caught the fed bid right, like, days after that. Like, days after that. And then I caught the six bill and shit. Because I had the bowls. I mean, I caught the six billing case, which started out in the four billing, and midtown me wise and shot right after that. Because I had the bowls in the four billing. <laughs> Worked the bugger. You know what I'm saying? So, Cuzzle fucks around. He go off and do that big fed joint. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I, I know he in the joint. And then around, I want to say about nine, four. Nine five. Him and my pop. Him and my pop. I got the flick. I got a Google flick. It's him, and my pops. What's the boy out of? Uh, what's the Spanish boy out of the Bronx? Getting all that money. Boy George. It's my pops. Boo Bear. Boy George. The big homies out of Queens. All the niggas was in it. either a Terry Hart, Indiana, or Long Park, California. Together, they was all in one spot together, and. And Boo Bear didn't know Pops. And my Pops ain't no Boo Bear. So my Pops wrote me, yo, little cuz here. You know the little cuz Boo Bear? I was like, yeah, sure, he's the real deal. My Pops was like, all right, because he with me. He said he family. That is family. Word. Boo Bear and Pops was together for a minute in the early 90s. Like I said, man, I didn't even know he passed away. And nah, nah, we was in Attica, me and Jonah. Jonah ran down on me and was like, yo, son, cuzzo, what? Yeah, son. Word. Cuzzo passed away in prison. He ain't make it back out, but Jimbo did. So shout out to Jimbo. Rest in peace to Boo Bear, man. That is my story of Boo Bear, man. He was one of a kind. I'm quite sure if I could get Brooklyn Mo saucy and convince him to tell his story, man. He got all that behind the scenes shit. He got all that gunplay shit. He probably was with them niggas when them niggas was buying all that jury. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the shit I wanted to be able to tell you. Yeah, niggas walked up in there, put 50000 down on the table and told them, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? Mo could do that. I can't do that. 
know what I'm saying? Because Mo was in the fold for real. Mo was getting that money with Boo being them niggas. That's why I told you when we was at DFY, Mo was being bad for a minute to get his name up. Then that nigga fell back, start being good. He was trying to go home and get back to that bag. He knew what they was working with out there. Mo the mother. So shout out to Boo Bear. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Nick. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to their whole crew back then, man. Because them niggas made movies, man. That whole clique. Nick, Boo Bear, Brooklyn Mo, Dorian. You know what I'm saying? The niggas, the niggas did their thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's an honor and the privilege to say I knew all them niggas personally. Well, the mother, you know what I'm saying? Fruit, no everybody, man. So once again, man, this is my story of Boo Bear, the Brownsville legend. Cuzzo, I hope I did a great job. I hope y'all not disappointed because I ain't give y'all all that gun smoke. But once again, man, we're going to try to get Brooklyn Moe to do that. This is my story of Boo Bear today, Thursday, Throwback Thursday, and we throwing it back with the big homie Boo Bear from Brownsville. Salute.